What's up everybody? This is Leon. I hope you had a happy new year. Today we're going to start our God Mode Toolkit series. Yes, today we're going to look into creating and formatting hard disk partitions. So without any further ado, here we go. I'm opening up God Mode and I'm going to create and format hard disk partition. Now I'm just going to run through all of the selections that they have. Um, I'm going to show you what happens when we click on things and because I know that we can uh, have the fear of what happens when we click on stuff within <laughs> within Windows for fear of losing all of our information, especially in a section like the disk management because we don't want to lose all of our vital data, right? So here we go. We're going to start with saying that wherever you are, whatever you are working on inside of the disk management, you have to watch out for what's highlighted. Make sure you see what's highlighted. Like right now, my C drive, my C drive is highlighted. So everything that's held on this partition, this C, this partition of my, of this disk, whatever changes I make, whatever I do up here will be applied to that section. And as you can see, whatever's highlighted down here corresponds to the list up here. So if I click on this part and I highlight this, then it shows disk zero partition two. If I do this, it shows disk zero partition one. If I click on this down here, it shows my L and D par partition. If I click on this, you see nothing highlighted because this is a disk that I'm using for this video to, to show you examples and to be able to just click on it without any fears or any worries. All right. <laughs> so here we go. Let's go. Let's start with file. Okay. And file and options. And the only option is really to clean up the disk and delete files. And you only want to do this if you know you're not going to, if you know you don't need any of the files in there anymore, you don't want to waste time working trying to do it in file explorer you can just go here and delete those files and it'll knock them all out for you and clean up your clean up your drive for you and that's another reason why you want to pay close attention to where these diagonal lines are what you got highlighted because you don't want to delete any vital data let's move on over to the action tab of course refreshing will simply refresh the window all right, that's simple. Rescan disk is going to check these disks again for any changes that have been made to them within the disk management console. All right, create VHD. That's going to allow you to create a virtual hard drive. Um, if you if you're working a virtual box or a VMware or anything like that, to where you have virtual disks, you can create them here. All right. You can also attach a virtual hard drive, okay, a virtual hard disk. Um, let's say you you already have virtual hard disks on your computer and you want to attach them to a specific uh, disk on, on here. You can do that as well, all right. Oh, let me go back to that point out. You can also make that disk, that disk read only in the event that you don't want any changes made to it, all right. Let's keep moving. I'm not going to go over help. All right. This top and bottom. What is this? Okay. So this is basically um, allowing you to change the look of this top pane right here. And bottom allows you a chance to change the look of this bottom pane down here. So if I go to top and I change it to disk list, it's just going to show a list of the disks. Okay. If I go and I change it to volume list is back to normal. That's the default for it. If I change it to graphical view, it changes it to be just like the bottom there. And of course you can highlight that the little bar there to make some space between to, so that you can get a look at both of them. All right. So likewise on, on bottom, you can change this to be disk list and it'll change it up. If you just 
like it to be in reverse. You, some people like dealing more in with the graphical view, so they want that on top. It's whatever your preference is. You can make it make the changes just like you did the top, or you can hide it, and then so it won't be there. If you don't even want to deal with this, with the with the bottom part, and you just like a certain view. You can just put it on top and hide the bottom. Settings. You can change the settings of the appearance. Of course, all the ways different things appear. All right. So when you create these volumes, these are the colors they'll have. The scaling. The scaling. Uh, you can change the scaling of your graphical settings. So right now they're set to display the disk according to capacity using a logarithmic scale on both. And let's see what happens when we change it to linear for the, for the disk display. I'm going to change it and apply. And see that's all that happens there. Oh, let me uh, let me come out of here. Uh oh, I didn't save it. How about we save that, huh? All right, do that apply okay you see when you click on anything it still it still works the same you gotta make sure you, you highlight the correct stuff there's, there's a little space saver there all right let's make another change to that go to settings and scaling and let's say we want it all to be the same size here So now you see it just shows all the discs to be the same size as opposed to before when it was showing them with their respective uh, disc sizes. So it, it shows this disc is 223 gigs, this one's 149, this one's 1863 and let's go back to the settings scaling and we'll change that back to logarithmic and you see it shows the same the sizes respectively now okay all right what happens on the bottom when you change this to linear what happens there let's see uh, did you see that pay attention right here pay attention right there okay I'm going to change it back you see it There you go. Makes everything linear. Means there's n it doesn't show the individual partitions. Okay. Same size. Let's click on that. And this, I'll show you again. It just makes the partitions or the regions the same size. Yeah, the partitions the same size. See that? Okay same size they're all equal they're not available or they're just all one shown as one partition and all separated out okay showing their respective sizes all right that's the settings drive paths drive paths this is for when you have your virtual hard disk on here and you want to uh, and it just lets you know where those are located uh, I'm not going to be creating any virtual disk like I said this is just a topical uh, showing of what to do in disk management or else this will be a two hour video <laughs> alright so that's those settings up at the top tabs now I want to show you what happens when you actually right click on these and once again I'm only going out of this una unallocated you right click let's start from left to right you right click <coughs> on this little box right here next to your next to your volume sizes you right click on that and it gives you an option to change the type of disk that you're using okay you might need a dynamic disk or something you might need an MBR disk or something it just changes that disk type and you can 
do the conversion and it's going to change this color because it's not a it won't well it's not going to change it now because it's not it's still not a disk but um now it's it's labeled as a dynamic disk you can change it to be in convert it to be an MVR disk GPT or and you can convert it back to be basic okay all right um oh you can also uh have the disk to show to be offline i probably should have showed you this second so i'll probably come back to this i'll have to come back to this to to actually show you what what happened here okay so those are the options for converting the disk you can also make your disk offline if you want, don't want it to be seen by the system okay and it's it's not going to show on this disk partition because it's already offline because it is not allocated for anything okay but i can come back to that that shouldn't take too long um properties naturally you got your general properties of the disk you got If you want to be able to write cache files to to it or not, um, of course, what the volumes are, all that neat stuff. Okay. Okay, within the partition itself, let's go to new simple volume. You have to right click on here. You have to right click to get these options. Okay. You can also, well, you can on this one because it's not available. Or is it? Yes, it is. There it is right there. You can also right click up here. But when you right click up here, you only get the, the disk options like we were down here. Like we had over here, you only get those disk options. But we right click on the partition itself and we get to create the volume. So we right click, click, click new simple volume, go to next. And you can decide the size of the disk. This is letting you know the maximum size of the disk, which is in megabytes. So we only want half of that. So we'll do about 75,000. Okay. And you get to choose the, the drive you want it to be on. We'll keep it D right now and you get to choose the volume name here you can choose the file system as well if you want to change it windows need to windows needs it to be a uh, ntfs system to be recognized within the operating system let's see uh, allocation sizes you can change the name of the volume. We'll call this test for right now. I know that's boring, but hey. <laughs> and you can keep that on quick format. And you can allow compression to save uh, to save space on the disk. But we'll just leave it all that way. And here you have all the selections you made. You can Before you click finish, you can go through here and make sure everything's set the way you want it to be. If not, you can go back and fix whatever you need to fix. Okay, but we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and say finish, and it's formatting. And as you can see, it created the disk partition for half of the disk that, like we asked it to. Well, about half. Okay, so you see this is still unalloc this is still unallocated, and we can save stuff to this portion of it. And now, over here. If we want to go offline, we can take that disk offline and see it lets you know up here that you can't use that thing because it's offline. And it lets you know there as well, okay? And it even tells you this is offline because the policy has been set by the administrator. Why'd you do that, administrator? Put it back online. And there it goes. All right. All right, more options. Right clicking, 
on your partition here, you can explore it. And what that's going to do is it's going to open up a window for you directly to that partition. All right. You can change the drive letter and the path. So you can either remove this thing or you can change the drive letter. Let's see, you want to be money focused. You want your drive letter to be drive letter to be M for money. You can do that. Change it. Click OK. It's gonna tell you that if you already got stuff saved to this drive and you got programs looking for stuff on this drive. You might want to turn around, but we don't. So let's take a show you. And it changed it to drive M. You see that? Changed it to M. And we don't want we don't want to be focused on money like that though. So we change our drive letter back to D. And once again you get the message and voila, the change has been made. Alright, right clicking again. You can reformat this bad boy. You can change the label on it. And let's say we don't like the test. We gonna we had fake tests on here. Okay, we have fake tests. And once again, you can do a quick format, or you can uncheck that, and it'll do the long format. But we're not gonna do that. Um, you can enable the files and folders for compression. Once again, we're gonna click OK. It's going to let you know that it's going to mess some stuff up. You might, you're going to erase your data if you, if you do this, if you reformat your disk and you already have data on there. That's that warning. I click no and it stopped it. See, he said, okay, okay, we won't do that to you. But we actually want to do that right now. And you see, it still changed our label. Now we did click okay. Sorry. I thought I clicked no. But it changed the name of the label. All right. Um, we can extend our volume. So we go through here. You know, we we only did seventy five thousand, and so it's like, okay, you got seventy seven thousand megabytes to work with. So you can extend it a little bit more. So okay, let's use uh, let's use let's make it thirty thousand more more megabytes bigger okay let's do that all right let you know you only gonna do about 30,000 and it extended it just a little bit so now we have a hundred and two gigabits and for the drive and we got 46 remaining to use isn't that isn't that snazzy all right you can also shrink the volume and it says hey you got a uh, all this space that you're using how much do you want to shrink it by? And you can be like, uh, let's shrink it back down. This is going to be interesting. Let's shrink it back down by that 30,000 because we didn't want to use 30,000. Let's shrink it back down by that much. So now we got a little less allocated. Like I said, you can figure, you can actually go and go ahead and figure the actual sizes that you need. Um, but I'm just doing, you know, straight numbers just for, just for the joy of it. All right. Um, what else we got here? Right clicking, delete volume. What happens when you do that? Well, let's see. Do you want it? Oh, it's gonna delete everything. It's gonna. It says you need to back this stuff up. Do you want to continue? Yes. And if I had anything on this drive, I would have just lost everything. So that's what that does. And now I only get the option. Since everything's gone, I only get the option to create a new volume. So I'm just going to leave everything default and create it. And there it is. The whole partition is being used now. It gives me option. I get property options. Okay, so let's go through here. General options. You can just clean up. You can clean up this disk. I don't have anything on here, so there's nothing to clean up in here. More options. You can create more disk space. I don't, we can't create any more disk space than what we have. <laughs> Do system restores. Okay. Tools. Of course, uh, disk error checks. 
and defragment, de defragging your disk to make more space. Gives you a list of the hardware, the list, the the actual model of the specific, of the different drives on the system. Sharing, are you sharing this? Who you're sharing it with? Advanced sharing options. You can choose to share the folder. You can choose the, the name of the share. And you can create permissions for it. Okay. Customize. You can choose what type of files it's going to optimize this for. You know it's going to be mostly music. It'll optimize the, the disk for music. And make sure you, you can apply that to the subfolders of the drive so that it optimizes those as well. You can choose a file to show a picture to show on the folder. If you have one that you want to help you recognize that folder a little bit better. Quota. You can tell the you can tell Windows to stop to stop uh, storing to this drive after it reaches a certain limit, and you go you can click enable quota and choose limits this space to, and it'll tell you it allow you to limit the space to a certain amount, and you can choose whether you want it to be the 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 units of measurement that you want it to be. And you can also choose to set a warning for when you're getting close to that limit. All right. And you can choose to create logs for that as well. This allows you to view those logs. We got none. I want a previous version. Uh, it gives you previous versions of the drive. We, we don't have any. And of course, security. It allows you to set permissions for different people that may be logging onto your computer to this file or if you're sharing the file it allows you to give give out those permissions as well okay I think we'll go deeper into security settings at a at a later date alright so that's everything within within the properties section oh hold on let me cancel that I forgot I got quota enable okay it's not okay good all right so let's see is there anything else nope I think that's everything I wanted to go over I clicked on pretty much everything I did not click on anything in this bar here let me click on this stuff for you it's just showing showing you the window pane okay that's help and that gives you another pane for actions over there you can see okay What's this? I should have hovered over it first. It's the refresh. <laughs> That's all it is. What's this? Delete. You want to delete a volume? It'll do that for you right there. Properties. It'll pull up the properties for you. Here, let me click on this because I know you want to see what happens. I got nothing to delete because the volumes are. Oh, yes, I do have something to delete. I forgot I created that. Haha. <laughs> so let's show you. Boom. It's gone. <laughs> all right. Properties is. I don't have anything, I don't have a volume there anymore, so it doesn't have any properties to show. And these are, once again, the settings and of appearance and whatnot. So that's everything to click on within disk management within the create and format hard disk partitions of God mode. If this video was all at all informative to you, please like it and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to hit that notifications bell to be updated as to when I put out new videos. And until the next time, may the Lord bless you and keep you. Peace out.